everyone, welcome to episode three of Lisa Fix My Hair, the texture edition. You all have been hitting me up in the comments and DMing me on ways to achieve my famous wash and go technique. And with this episode, we are answering all your burning questions. I decided to focus this show on category four hair textures, primarily to dissemble the belief that this hair type is unmanageable and not wash and go friendly. Hmm. Watch this full episode to learn more. For years, there has been this sort of myth that only the elite hair types among us, you know, the ones that society deems as hair goals, were the only people who could achieve the famed wash and go hairstyle. This mindset left a lot of people with tighter curls feeling like they couldn't experience this liberating style. Well, that was until now. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You are Kibia? Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you. So how can I help you today? I would like to get my curls more defined because mm-hmm. I feel like I haven't went wash and go yet. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of nervous about it, but not really. And if you could help me, that would be appreciated. You've never worn your hair curly? No. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> I can tell you have beautiful hair. Thank you. What this have you been doing with your hair? Curl rods. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you've been wearing it natural for a while? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For so, like five, six months. Do you feel like you have any heat damage? or? I do at the top. What part? Like just at the top of my hair right here. Is it real like large? It's, no, uh-uh. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, um, what are your major concerns about your hair as, as far as the health-wise other than wanting to wear your curls? I kind of want them... More than mine, like I said before, because I feel like I don't know like my pattern yet, so mm-hmm. I'm gonna get to know, know how I can do wash and go and just learn my texture of my hair. What products have you been using? Um, Cantor, I use that, mm-hmm. and Shea Moisture. I think like Shea Moisture is the number one product that um, most people use. Mm-hmm. What do you think about it? I think it does good on my hair. It's just a uh, it's an up and down process, so. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, well, I recommend that we do a treatment today okay. with the um, the natural hair styling because it helps the hair to come, because the, the moisture and the protein yeah. is what brings the um, curls together better and, and helps the curls to be defined and the style to come out better. And, you know, based on what it looks like now, it just feels like you could use like a uh, treatment, like a mask, to help it out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm very anxious to see your curls. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We're gonna take you to the shampoo bowl. Okay. <laughs> Step one: It's always best to cleanse your hair with a moisturizing shampoo, coupled with a deep conditioner, for the best results. When rinsing out your conditioner, be sure to do so with cool water to seal in the moisture and detangle using a wide tooth comb, pick, or your fingers. After washing your hair, be sure to apply a leave-in conditioner and distribute from root to end. Starting in the nape area, section your partings about a half inch to an inch and use your spray bottle to wet your hair down to the point that it is heavily saturated. Apply about a dime size of the foam products to your hair and smooth on to the section from root to end. And then take another dime size of the gel and smooth on top of the foam and smooth down your hair from root to end. Step four, the shingling method. Position your index, middle, and ring finger like a rake and run your fingers through the section in a zigzag motion and then let it set.
Step 5. After setting your curls, you can sit under a dryer, diffuse, or air dry your hair. Just remember that the hair must be fully dry before styling or it will frizz. At night, be sure to sleep with a silk or satin bonnet and depending on the length of your hair, you can sleep with it in sections or pull it up into a pineapple. So when I first started off, I was just telling Lisa, I started off where my mom was hot combing my hair and perming my hair. And I used to get the scabs and everything like that. So about 10 years ago, I decided I wanted to be natural. And I did, I wanted, I had the idea, like everybody else, I could put some water in my hair and it was gonna curl up and it was gonna be amazing. I'd have these curls, these big old voluptuous curls. And that was not what I got. <laughs> I have those corkscrew tight curls and I have really bad shrinkage. And I was also under the, under the impression that I had to put thick gels in my hair, um, continuously put all kind of products in my hair just to define it. Until I came to see Lisa, we did the Design Essentials STS on me. And for my hair, like even now how she's doing it now, normally it'll just start shrinking. As soon as I wash it, if I don't hold tension on it, it tangles back up. So it's like, as I'm doing it, it's retangling and you just get frustrated. I, you have to learn how to work in smaller sections and just take the time and do each section. And I'm still learning that after 10 years of being natural, my hair's changed. Every time I've had a child, it's changed. Every time I'm stressed out or not eating right or not drinking right, my hair changes and I have to adapt with that. And that's kind of the hardest thing that I've had to learn, especially with wash and goes. You think that a twist out's easy, but wash and goes are, that's the hardest thing to master for us naturals, especially us kind of for C people. But I feel like with the product she gave me and even the fact that she's like teaching me how to do it, hey, this is how much product you use, this is how it looks. And the first time I came to her, she was the same way. She kind of taught me how to do it because that's the main point is you gotta be able to do this at home. Yeah. But yeah, it's a great experience though. I think every woman with naturally curly hair wants to wake up and just wash their hair and go. I think that's everybody's goal. And it's always been my goal because I'm low maintenance, at least in my mind. But every time I would try to do it on my own, I just felt like the shape of it was never right. The curls, they would only look good while it was wet. I didn't know which products to use. So I've been natural for a while, but I really feel like my wash and go journey might be starting more so now because I have somebody helping me. <laughs> I've been natural since like 2010. Mm -hmm. um, I just stopped doing perms. And this is my first experience actually diving in deeper to my natural journey and um, taking it to that next level. Before t now, I was just wearing like sew-ins and braids, a lot of protective styles and very minimal hair care under those styles. Um, but after coming to Miss Lisa, I took my journey to the next level as far as actually catering to my curls and the porosity of my hair. It felt like I had unleashed like a new level in my journey just because um, I was tapping into the true natural side of my hair. Um, it's like one, thing to take away chemicals and perms and stuff, but another thing to let go of flat irons and um, styles that we have behind, like box braids and sew-ins and things like that. So it felt like a freeing feeling. 
On the next episode of Lisa Fix My Hair, Lisa will be sitting down to answer all of your burning questions about your hair care needs. And we got something really exciting for y'all because we want you to be a part of this episode. So send us a video asking your question and Lisa will answer them on the show.